you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Sir, honey, I miss you so much. Sweetie, you're here? I'm so happy, but how did you manage to get inside? I took someone else's papers and pretended to be one of the doctors. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that I'm here now, sweetheart. And I brought the equipment you asked for. I know that voice. Where have I heard it before? I'm sorry I dragged you into all this, sweetheart, but Sechenov's gone too far. I talked to Stockhausen. He's my friend, after all. I thought he'd help me stop this madness, but the sneaky son of a bitch played me. So Sechenov threw me in here. It doesn't matter anymore. I'll get you out of here. Tell me what to do. You'll have to cause a tiny malfunction in Collective. Don't worry. It's just a couple of software glitches. I've got like-minded colleagues waiting for my signal in other complexes. We're going to sabotage <laughs> the facilities all at once. And then the world will finally see what the Kremlin dictatorship is up to. Then what? Sechenov will never stop looking for us. We'll flee the country, defect to the U.S. and live in luxury for the rest of our lives. Once we expose Sechenov, he'll no longer have the means to harm us. But first, I need to access the network. Okay, I'll connect your equipment to the main server. And then...
So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Please select the desired procedure. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted.
data. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful.
system to reactivate the line. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. Will it be major? Weapons or ability? There's the control panel, and of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ugh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Station Master. What a joke. Uh, what was that? A glorious new era. They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why don't you freeze me just like everything here? They won't go. Nope, won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic! The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? Station Monster has it. Or geography. He didn't make it. Was as fast as me. Die. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the Station Master die in this tunnel? This tunnel? He died. Everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic! ...of our Soviet Union, which will soar above us all in just ten years' time. Are you sure the Station Master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The Station Master, find him! Find him! Get the schematic! Got it. I'll look for it. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, Comrade Major? You know, I've fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. But talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer.
There it is. Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. granted. This works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket.
There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Lexus Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system.
took such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. And now, oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Burads, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Barav roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and a month. You'll have a complete subway system. Or any sort of tunnel. Subway is hell. It's the moon they were going to use them for. So their top secret and their armor is tougher than a tank's. PTA plates unmarked. Cutting edge science. You worked on the Buravs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No hardly. Anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borovs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. The machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love, care, or it'll descend. I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface.
careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. survive without him. <sighs> Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system.
such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. And now, oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Connor? What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Barav roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of now does. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and a month. You'll have a complete subway system. Or any sort of tunnel. Subways, hell! It's the moon they were going to use them for. Terraforming. So their top secret and their armor is tougher than a tank's. PTA plates unmarked. Cutting edge science. Worked on the Buravs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Buravs. We moved mountains. Built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. A machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love and care, or it'll descend into confusion. Love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Stop. What a nice trip.
laser wall? That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. Just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes! Yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. That hurt! That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being... almost. You got that right. Let's go find that... Honey, I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be such enough, Sky. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go. 
power. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. That scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Right alert. Lockdown in progress. He's pretty good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like they're his property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called a candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. Now I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous Peck 4 power generator? Indeed it is. 
The Birch Tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. You've got nothing to be scared of. You're... dead. I know! Even back when I was alive, I saw dead people get up again. I don't want this to happen to me! I'm scared of them! Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply, but they... <clears throat> His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm.
you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise.
Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? What will it be, Major? Weapons or... Yeah. 